five days there's gonna be a few inches of water uh, in the next 48 hours there's supposed to be nine foot on top of where the water height is the water heights at 15 6 15 7 uh, and the reason for the water coming up so fast and so quickly is because they're opening Marganza which is an emergency floodgate uh, north of the Chafalaya Basin once they open it up it's gonna relieve a lot of pressure from the levees in the Mississippi uh, it's, it's actually they're actually trying to save Baton Rouge and New Orleans uh, poor Morgan City if they open these gates is gonna be flushed through okay what, what we're doing now and, and I'm very happy to say that the people are not taking it for granted uh, they know the flooding's coming I mean they're moving out uh, there's 10 days now uh, some days along in, in passing through Hennis is unbelievable the traffic and most of them have a trailer behind it full of every longings and it's still happening. I was in Beulah Rose yesterday till dark and it, I mean they're moving out so that's great. That, that's what we want to do. Yes, All right, right now we're sent back in to help the residents of this area to solve that problem they're going to have with the rising water. Well, we've been here since this past Monday, and I figure middle of the next week at least, until the water gets high, that we can't work anymore. We're all too close around here. The sad part is we're going to be scattered for a little while. Uh, you know, we're not going to be, some will be here, some will be there. But the good thing is we all have each other's cell number. We'll be able to stay in touch. We're able to find out what's going on with each other, and that's that's really important. Every day, we I'm, I'm getting in touch with just about every politician they have there that's calling me and trying to find out information. We compare notes. We staying on the same page, and that's one of the most important things to happen. You got to stay together. Everybody has to go in that same mindset to make things happen right. I got a full-time job, but I mean, after four o'clock, you know, if they, if somebody needs some help, you know, I got a big truck. I, it don't mind me to come help nobody, because I know if, if, if I want to help a lot of people, that way, if I ever need some help, I know somebody's there to help me. You know, I, I was always taught from a young age to do to others what, what you would want others to do to you. So that's what I try to do. I try to help everybody, to where when I do need some help, sometime that I got somebody that got my back. And it's all volunteers. <laughs> We, the news even uh, broadcast last night that we needed help and we had more people arrive than we actually needed. We're very thankful for that. And uh, we're just bringing all of this back to the Our Lady of Mercy in Henderson. And we're just going to try to salvage what we can. You know what a lot of people are, are not understanding? And I tried to explain some of that. They think the water's going to come the height of 73. You got to understand, in 73, the crest was very, very short. Two, three days whatsoever and it started receding this time the crest is going to last two three to maybe even four weeks and you know I, I couldn't understand that part of it is that 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 much water well yeah they have that much water k road today i checked it it's at 55 55 feet and that's 15 feet over flood stage so we still got a lot of water coming down and now I'm, my understanding some of the, the the large reservoirs up north once the river recedes, they have to actually let water out of there. So that's what's going to keep the crest for that long. So regardless of what happens, we will have more water than 73. They was telling, uh, it, the general was telling everybody expecting 15 feet of water right here. Uh -huh. So I doubted that's going to happen, but that's what they're saying, 15 foot of water. I think they were just telling that to scare everybody to get them out of here. Mm -hmm. But they had a meeting right there in front of the firehouse, and they said they're looking for 15 feet right there of water. So 15 foot of water right here, you're looking at almost the top of the church here. What we all we can do is hope and pray it don't happen, but we can only deal with God sends us and we'll have to take it from there. That's it. That's it. Uh, there's 400 National Guard coming in the area. They started last night knocking house to house in the Beulah Rose area, telling them that today's the day they're gonna open the Morganza. And that hopefully is gonna make the rest of them move out. There's very little of anything left in Bitter Rose. Material-wise, anything valuable, I mean, they moved it out. Uh, like I say, the last seven to 10 days has been nonstop people moving out. So, you know, that's, that's good. That's very good. It, it's gonna help. I'm gonna probably call a town meeting in Anderson and let the people come and we'll answer the questions and tell them the truth. They got so many rumors. I got, I got, I don't know how many calls yesterday said the leverage breached, the levee's leaking. 
at one point near Georgia Pre Bridge, they said the levee's leaking where they had a slide. So I go up there and I go, the water's five feet from the slide. You're going to hear rumors like that. Don't listen to any rumors. This levee, we, we've, we're real confident, we're 100% confident our levee system can, can handle it. I mean, don't listen to rumors. Don't get scared by that. Try to find out the truth. You know, just wait. It's day by day. As, as anything arises, we're going to notify the people. No doubt about it. It'll be notified by the TV and, and radio. And call me. I, I don't mind answering calls. Uh, I may have to recharge my battery during the day sometimes because I'm getting a bombardment of calls. But I don't mind answering because I'm going to tell them the truth. I don't make anything up. I will tell them the truth on this. Pray for everybody that's out here. I mean, uh, they need a lot of prayers. There's going to be a lot of rebuilding. It's going to be a lot of time-consuming thing. It's not, it's not going to just come and go in a week. Uh, it could be two or three months before even the local business or the, or the lake could be uh, accessible to people. Uh, and just pray that nothing bad, no bad fish kills happen, which I think we'll have that. And, um, you know, just everybody, I guess, as you, you know, they, they pull together and try to make things get back on track to where we can bring this area back to what it was.